Mr. So Webb? No, but definitely low visibility. It's a big time issue this morning. I need you to come to your screen right now so I can show you exact locations as you're stepping out. It's Wayne County, Southern End, Stark, Summit County. You're down to near zero. Also, Portage, Southern Geauga County. You're starting to see visibility getting a little bit better, but still, it's down to a quarter of a mile near zero in some spots. So, as you're stepping out and driving, make sure you are a slow go of the Things right now. It's due to dew points, the moisture in the air. You're going to notice on your car a lot of condensation. It's mixing in with a cooler surface, but humidity levels, they are still in the lower 60s. So that when you break out that muggy meter, you can see we're still at almost at an uncomfortable state across northern Ohio as we step into about the noon hour as high pressure is going to build here once again. Now, that moisture as the front track through yesterday has shifted to the eastern seaboard. It's being Replace with a good old fashioned sunshine that is just going to sit in the middle of Northeast Ohio for the next five to seven days. So plan accordingly here with the sunglasses and sunscreen handy by the four o'clock hour. Most spots in the lower 80s. Hour by hour, I do just want to show you the cloud coverage that sags to Stark County, Tuscaroras, Dover, New Philly. It'll be in and out by your lunch hour. Most spots lower 70s, 80 degrees by that 4 o'clock hour from Route 30 corridor to Ravenna, Portage County. A little bit cool, cooler, uh, closer to the lake. A light breeze throughout your afternoon. We'll go with 82 for greater Cleveland. You can see seven-day forecast. Pretty easy week here by the first day of fall, 88. Kristen?